Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go It's a lot, it's every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave Through the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, On the highway and in the driveway It's a nice thing Welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Gene Edwards. You are watching Lubed for November the 10th, 2022, as the Edmonton Oilers were in Raleigh, North Carolina tonight to take on the Hurricanes. However, they laid an egg, losing by a count of 7-2. to two. This was not a good game to watch. It was a hard game to watch. They were flat on all aspects of the game. The goaltending was brutal. The offense wasn't there. The power play wasn't there. Nothing was there. This was the most incomplete game of the year thus far. Now, you may remember on October 20th, the Canes were in Edmonton taking on the Oilers, and the Edmonton Oilers defeated the Canes that night by a count of 6-4. to four. And my first comment on that one was it was the most complete game of the year. So ironically enough, the two games against the Canes this year had polar opposites. One was the most complete, and one was the most incomplete. Simple as that. And one common denominator in that is Andrei Svechnikov. On October 20th, he got a hat trick. That was his first career hat trick. On November 10th, tonight, he got his second career hat trick. So this guy is a guy that can seem to find the net when it comes to games against the Edmonton Oilers. He is literally an Edmonton Oiler killer. Um, some of the notes of this game, Dylan Holloway had a breakaway in the first period. He was hooked. A penalty shot was called. However, I was hoping to see Dylan Holloway get his first goal on a penalty shot because how often does that happen? But it didn't happen. He is still snake bitten from his first NHL goal, but I'm sure it's going to happen. You're starting to see a lot of good things come out of him. And it will happen. Warren Fogle played a very decent game again. Didn't get up on the uh, the scoreboard for points. However, he did have a good game. I thought he was very noticeable. Um, but defensively, my God, this team is brutal. It's brutal. Um, Jack Campbell, brutal. That glove side of his, like, teams are going to really feast on him on that glove side. Um, I don't know what to say. I'm really worried that the Edmonton Oilers invested five years on a dud goalie now. Um, and I hope that's not the case, but I'll tell you right now. I mean, last game, he had a decent game. But a lot of his games have been average to below average to horrible. So let's let's hope that he can pull it together. Again, I hate beating up on the goaltenders because they don't get the credits for the wins, but I did give Campbell good credit last time. All right, let's dive into the X Factors for tonight. All right, my first X factor for tonight's outcome, I'm going to say, is Dylan Holloway missing the penalty shot. Um, I don't really want to blame a young kid on 
anything on any particular night because they are still trying to find their way. However, it was a penalty shot. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation with the goalie. And if he got it, I think the momentum on the bench, the everything, I think the trajectory of the game would have changed. So I have to give Dylan Holloway a little bit of credit for the loss on this one. The second one, Andre Svechnikov, the Edmonton Oiler killer, getting his second career hat trick against the Edmonton Oilers, which happened to be his first career hat trick on October the 20th. He is literally an Edmonton Oiler killer. And the third one, I know I gave him praise last game, Jack Campbell. Oh, not a good night for him. Not a good night, and he knows it. And I feel bad for Jack Campbell because he really owns up a lot of the blame. I think he takes too much of the blame on. He needs to let this one really go. He needs to let all the losses go and just, just come out trying again next time. He does need a little bit more defensive support from the boys. Like I say, I don't know if it's the fact that we don't have a Duncan Keith in the lineup anymore, uh, providing that bench support, providing that calmness. Um, the Oilers might have to look into, now that Evander Kane is hurt, maybe look into getting another defenseman aboard. I don't know. But then what do you do with that cap money when Kane comes back? It's going to be a tough one. Anyway, guys, that is about all I have for you this night. It was a horrible 7-2 loss for the Edmonton Oilers. The Canes and Oilers have completed their season series, and the next time they will meet this year, if they do, will be in the Stanley Cup Final, and that's the only way they will meet. Uh, until then... Stay happy, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and we will see you on Saturday when the Edmonton Oilers take on the Florida Panthers. Just a reminder, it is a afternoon game. I believe it is a 2 o'clock start in Edmonton. You might have to check with that. Um, but we will talk soon, guys. Take care. Have a great night. Keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frostbite, they feeling.